Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Three tips here and I just wanted to give you a quick peek in here inside my electrolytic silver cell. It's a fresh batch of pure silver crystal. And uh, I got busy working in the yard today and neglected the cell. And if you look down in here, you'll see that my uh, anode bar got down into the electrolyte and it completely dissolved it. That was a nice big chunky three ounce anode bar there. So I'm gonna have to change this out now and add some silver to, uh, to the anode uh, filter here. I've got a decent current flow through the cell right now. What I'm gonna do I'm going to turn the power off. I'm going to disconnect this anode bar. I'm going to have to uh, take that out of there. And what I'm going to do is just stick it down here in this temporary storage jar. All right, I'm going to put some uh, silver in our anode filter here. I'm running this uh, pure silver crystal back through a second time. And now I'm going to install the anode bar here. And I've got to get busy, get some of this silver shot melted up. I'm running the pure silver crystal back through a second time to repurify it. And now we'll turn the power on, see where we're at. And that's looking good. We're back online with our silver cell. Someone had asked about running raw sterling silver through the silver cell, just putting some 925 or sterling silver up here in the anode basket and running it through the cell. But the problem there is the copper in that sterling silver would quickly saturate the electrolyte it becomes saturated with copper and then i'd run the risk or danger of plating out copper along with the pure silver crystal so we got to uh we got to put in cement silver that's been uh, melted into shot someone else asked about uh, putting cement silver directly into the uh, cell and uh, i tried that one time and what happened was the cell became clogged up very quickly and it didn't work very well. So I'm running the pure silver crystal that's already been refined back through a second time. This is what happens if we don't keep an eye on our cell. There, there it is. There's the one that got dissolved. See how it's all gone? That was a three troy ounce silver bar with a stem on it. And I'll reuse this. I'll pour some more silver in a... Uh, a mold and get it back up to three troy ounces. We needed that heavy to push the raw silver shot down into the anode basket as the cell operates. Okay, that will conclude the video. Thanks for watching.